In this video, I'm going to show you how to animate a screenshot right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you first want to begin by just dragging a screenshot onto your timeline. So we'll just drag that onto the layer one for now. And as you can see, you've got this screenshot here. So this was just a Facebook post that I screenshotted and before we do anything, we first want to add our animation onto this layer specifically. So there's many ways of doing this. So you could add some text animation onto the comment section. You could add a like animation onto there, but I'm just going to add the video where the video should be playing. So this was a screenshot. It obviously wasn't a screen recording. So I'm just going to add the video into this screenshot. So I'm just going to search for that specific video. Multi-camera interview will just drop this onto our timeline. We'll make this the same duration as the video clip. So we'll just cut that there. And then we'll just scale this down and we'll position this on the post. So around there, we'll make this scale 50. Now, of course, you're more than welcome to go ahead and add some other animation onto this if you like. But once you've added all of your animation, you just want to select everything on your timeline. We'll right click and select Nest. And we can rename this to Screenshot. So once you're happy with the look of that, we'll just scale this down. So we'll go to the motion tab, go scale, and we'll pull this down a little bit. Now from there, we'll go effects and we'll search for basic 3D. So we'll drop basic 3D onto the screenshot nested sequence. So as you can see, if I adjust the swivel, it rotates this way. And if I adjust the tilt, it rotates this way. So we're just going to add a little bit of tilt. So we'll go negative four. We'll pull the swivel to around, let's go to around 15. We'll go to the very beginning. We'll go to swivel and we'll create a brand new keyframe by selecting the toggle animation button. Now we'll go to the end of that five seconds and we'll change the swivel to around negative 15. Then you just want to make sure that keyframe sits at the very end and that will animate like this. Of course, you're more than welcome to add some other animation to this. So we'll do a scale animation. So we'll create a brand new keyframe on scale by selecting the toggle animation button. We'll go towards the end, but not at the end. And we'll increase the scale to around 106. And then we'll drag that keyframe to the very end. Now, when we play this back, we've got this swivel effect and we've got this scale in. Now that looks great, but the problem is it's just sitting on a boring black background. So we're going to create a background. So we'll drag the screenshot layer up onto video layer two. We'll go into our project tab. We'll go new item, black video, and we'll press OK on black video. Now we'll drag this black video onto video layer one and make sure that it is the same duration as the screenshot layer. Now we'll go into effects and we'll search for ramp. That should be under the generate folder. And then once you found that, just drop that onto the black video and that will create this black and white background. Of course though, we want this to link to the post itself. So I'm gonna use this start color and end color to link to the blue and the purple in the post. So go to start color, select this eyedropper tool and select a color from your post. So I'm selecting this blue. Then we'll go to the end color and we'll select a different color. So we'll select a darker purple. There we go. And then we can go ahead and move the start color and the end color to wherever we want to place these. There you go, like so. And of course you can change the ramp shape from linear to radial. And radial is basically a spot like this. And then the linear is two specific points and it's creating this line effect. So select something that works for you. And then one more thing to really sell this effect off is we're just going to add some drop shadow onto the screenshot layer. So we'll just go into effects, search for drop shadow. That should be under perspective. We'll drop that onto the screenshot layer. You want to make sure the shadow color is black. Press OK on this. We'll go to opacity 100%. Direction is going to be the direction that the shadow is going to appear from. So if I increase the distance, so we'll increase the distance to around 150-ish. If I change the direction, you can now see it's on the right, it's on the top, it's on the left, it's on the bottom. So place that wherever you want to place that. So I'm going to put that down in the bottom right. We'll bring it a bit closer to the post now. And you can go ahead and add some softness onto this shadow. So somewhere around there. And when we play this back, you'll see we've got this really nice post animating with a shadow. 
If the shadow is a bit too harsh for you though, then you can always go into opacity and pull this down to a smaller number. So set that to around 50. And there you go, you got this really awesome post animation with this shadow effect. And there you go, that is the effect now complete. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.